river of thoughts. This is a tool for overthinking. We are doing so much of that right now because we have a lot to think about. Take a deep breath in. Let out an ocean breath. Close your eyes and follow this guided visualization. I want you to imagine that you are in a boat. You are in a boat floating down a river. The river is calm, the river is peaceful. Then such as in life, the river begins to change. It becomes increasingly narrow, increasingly choppy, messy, organized, disorganized, and eventually becomes a roaring rapid river that won't stop. You look off to the side to see what is causing this rapid river. And you are amazed to see all of your thoughts swirling around in there. All of your negative thoughts, your worried thoughts, your repeating thoughts, your self-deprecating thoughts. They're all in there around you. And there's nothing you can do about it. All of your negative thoughts, your worried thoughts, your repeating thoughts, your self-deprecating thoughts, your overwhelming thoughts, will not go away. You are in the thick of it. And you realize you can't do anything about it. And it feels like there is no end in sight because it's exhausting, I know. But you look up and you see in the distance a white sandy beach and it looks amazing. You wanna go there and rest. So you become determined to get on that beach. You find an oar in your boat. You push the water with all your might. This is your strength. You push and push until you finally get your boat onto that white sandy shore. You feel your feet in the sand and you're so grateful you've made it, you've landed, but you are utterly exhausted. You hear behind you the roaring rapid river that keeps going and going, like in your mind. <sighs> you let out a sigh of relief that you have finally made it out of there. And you look ahead of you and you see ahead of you, there's a chair. And alongside that chair, there is a table with a big fresh glass of water, a pitcher of water and a comfy blanket. So you go sit down, grab the blanket, plop in the comfortable chair, drink a nice fresh glass of water. You extend your legs out around you and you let out another sigh of relief. <sighs> and this time, I want you to overextend the exhalation. And as you're doing so, you tell yourself, you deserve this moment. You deserve this moment. You deserve this moment of relief and let out another extension of your exhalation. <sighs> you take a look at the roaring rapid river that you just left and you let out another overextended exhalation. You look at the rapid river ahead of you in the distance and you remember that this river is filled with your thoughts, all those rushing thoughts, all those rushing thoughts, the day in and the day out thoughts. And, and you can recognize now that you cannot control these thoughts. You cannot control these thoughts. You cannot just make them go away. You can't. You can't make them go away. However, you can recognize now that they are just thoughts. And you can watch them, be a witness to them, and let them pass you by. You understand and accept now. You understand and accept now that they are mere thoughts. And you don't have to believe everything you think. 
Because remember, the mind is highly suggestive. There will always be negative thoughts that we have no control of. And we can choose to bring in new thoughts. Thoughts we want to think about and suggest new ones. Just like we learned 2 plus 2 is 4 over and over and over again, you will need to learn to practice over and over and over again by creating new thoughts, a new thought process. So here are some ideas. I can find calm amidst my river of thoughts. I can find peace and rest when I am with my thoughts and they are overwhelming. I can give myself permission, like so, to slow down. I can restore a new way of being with my own mind. I trust over time with practice these thoughts will pass me by. Each time I allow this process of being a witness to my thoughts, I become more empowered to move through my thoughts and not get stuck in them. The only control you have is being a witness to your own mind, to find refuge in your own body. Now, you let out another sigh with a long extended exhalation of relief. You can stay here for another minute by repeating your breath in and out. And then you can slowly come back. Open your eyes to come back into your room with me now. Additionally, I recommend before doing this exercise, getting out a blank piece of paper. Draw a river as such and write down all the thoughts that you're thinking about. And put the paper right in front of you during the exercise. You can also have a second piece of paper and write in the thoughts that you want to have and suggest to yourself that you are encouraging, being hopeful and supportive like such. You are having a rough time, but you'll make it through. You're strong. You can move through this pain. You're doing it and you're doing your best. You are your own best friend. You can find a still quiet place inside. You can do this. You can do this. Brain science has found that for every one negative thought, you can introduce two positive thoughts to help negate that thought and move through it better. So keep practicing.